Live from beautiful Ohio, it's the OK Boomer podcast, featuring siblings, the real Jean and Laura. Happy holidays. Hello, hello. I'm Jean. And I am Laura. And we are here to encourage all you boomers, millennials, and everyone to be happily OK together. Hi, Jean. Ho, ho, ho. Ho. I love it. That's the season. We've done it. We're here at the season. First, I want to give a shout out as we start this holiday season, a shout out and happy holidays to a millennial group in Colorado who listens to us faithfully. I know. A millennial. We said millennials. millennials. They are listening to us Thank you, thank you. Snaps, snaps. Very, very happy that we have your little group. So. Yes, delighted. Um, Laura, we we did Thanksgiving too. Uh, too. Another thing I'm delighted about, we had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday we, with our families. We did indeed. Now, let me tell you, first off, I, I love Thanksgiving, one of my favorite holidays. Love that I have more family at home. It was just awesome. Wonderful. Now, I've had, there were a few faux pas, nothing bad, nothing bad this year. A few, by faux pas, you mean calamities? Yes, 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 yes. But really nothing bad at all. My biggest faux pas was my spatula. Hmm. Hmm. I must have rested it somewhere near a hot stove top and it pretty much just melted all over. Oh, yeah, it took some yeah. scraping. The OH had to come out and use his pocket knife. A new one because he lost the last one at a Cavs game. Oh, that's yeah. right. He got they, it, they take knives, don't they? <laughs> yeah, when you go through the anyway, scanner. But what I'm somewhat proud of, if I should be proud of So this, first we have the spatula yes, story. Yes, a lot of melting rubber. Right, that is yeah. a shame. Now, yeah. Now you have something you're proud of. Yes, right. very proud of that I feel like I have now become the resident expert on oven fires. Oh, oven fires. Yes. Apparently, people do listen to us. So you're now appearing on like talk shows? Yes. And, yeah, yes. guest appearances. Oprah called, Alan called, they're all calling to discuss oven fires. So I was in. The grocery store, of course, with the OH, we pretty much live there every day, mm -hmm. making our daily walks, getting steps. And I get the call. I said, I must take it. It's from one of our daughters. I won't say which one. And she says, help. And I say, what? Of course, when your daughter says help, you have, is she in a car accident? They, she may have so a, many scenarios. So many scenarios that are racing through a mother's brain. And she says, I'm looking at flames coming out of the oven. I said, are you? <laughs> I love at flames. <laughs> yes, and I was so thrilled. Of course she would call me. I just felt so honored, and yes. I, I could handle this. So apparently the people they were staying with, the wife had left to get groceries, and she and her own husband had left. She and the other husband decided... A lot of husbands. A lot of husbands, a <laughs> lot of ages. We'll clean the oven for her. Won't <sighs> she be pleased? Yes. Well, yeah, turning on the self-cleaning oven, she said there were tons of flames. And was that normal when you clean your oven? I said, I don't think so. Please turn it off. Right. And just stop everything. Ah. Yeah. She's like, well, there's a lot of flames dancing around here. Is that how self-cleaning ovens work? Um, no. no. No, but I just felt so honored she called me. Yes. Well, that wasn't good enough. And I'm thankful. The, the, now, are you the open? I want to hear more, but are you open if some of our listeners have yes. oven fire questions? Yes. Okay. Contact me if, if it's an emergency. Please come to me first and not your fire department. <laughs> yeah. I mean, save yourself the embarrassment save of it all. Just contact me. A little baking soda, you're good to go. All righty. So then somebody else, some a professional that I actually work with as a professional, shall go unnamed. Oh. Could be a dentist, could be an accountant, could be a financial planner. We don't know. Okay. So. I won't shame this person. But they apparently 
didn't realize that they had pinholes in the bottom of their roasting pan. Oh. We, I don't know how this happened. Huh. Not for me to ask, but huh. as this person was roasting their turkey, all the juices were coming down and, of course, caught on fire. And yet yes. another oven fire. Everyone was fine. A lot of smoke coming out, but their fire, their uh, alarm did go off. Fire department was called. So you, okay. So yeah. you're trying to tell me you're not the only one. I am not the only and, one. And you, yes, you have now becoming an expert. Yes. Excellent. Well, I was just um, listening to Christmas carols on the TV. I liked what you had at your house, your TV set up to, on a yes. channel that yes. plays Christmas carols. Yes. Has pretty pictures. What my TV station does um, is they have little interesting facts too that they oh, post and they said and this this relates they yes. said during the holidays be careful there are at least 200 incidents a day of injuries due to decorating mishaps now this is not fires necessarily no, but, de but decorating mishaps wow so watch out for that like too. falling off your ladder if I you have a 12 foot tree i suppose yes that would be a good example Wow, now you have me wondering what other right, lights you do, you're testing out man yeah, lights and electrocuting yourself. Right. So huh. Ooh. I okay, I'm gonna put my decorating because I'm not done decorating. But. Oh good, but you're starting. I am starting. Well what else is going Hi, on? Hi, well All right. first off, listeners, do not be worried. I feel just fine. I was at a boomer concert last night and I just sang as loud as I could, screamed as loud as I could. We went to the Genesis concert. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So good. Almost three hours long. God love Phil Collins. He can barely walk now because he's had a lot of surgeries. He's not that old either. So, yeah. Yeah, but, but it was great. But the He's concert, still a performer. The concert was fantastic, but everybody is our age. It's so odd being in a, an arena of 20,000 people where I'm sure 19,500 are our age. Right, even probably over 20 because the whole floor is filled yes, too. Yeah, yes, so yes. lots of people there. So oh, you showed me some pictures and I did think I noticed a lot of bald heads. Well, <laughs> right? Yes. In fact, the OH last night, very, very, I don't want to say smugly, but he said, because huh, he has a great head of hair. He does. He said, I see a lot of bald heads yeah. out here. So, Not me, though. Yeah, huh? a lot of gray hair, too. A lot of people like me trying to turn our gray hair blonde poorly. But anyway. No, you're doing fabulous. But, but so had, here you are, and your voice will just... Be it, what it is. Right. And, Hope you can make it to the end of the pod. I know. I just sang a little bit of... Da 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 da, an invisible touch now. But he didn't sing any of his own songs. Huh? It's none of it is Phil Collins. It was just purely Genesis. So, and his son, who was only twenty years old, took over drums for him because he was the drummer. Right. Oh, yeah. his son did. That's yeah. Fun. So I, I sat there thinking, this is a boomer with their millennial son working together, and probably everybody in between on their exactly. Uh, they, maybe we should invite them on our show. Yes. Anyway, all right. Now you mentioned. Did you mention Christmas? Did you mention humming Christmas carols, or am I dreaming? Maybe. Uh, Go on. I have been, this is just a little selection I want to call my potpourri for the week. All right. Just little things I've jotted down. Okay. Number one, after Thanksgiving, of course, I have been finding myself humming all kinds of Christmas carols. And the one that keeps sticking in my mind is, do you hear what I hear? <laughs> And I thought, is it because I have hearing aids it's now? Because I do hear everything now. Yes. So I'm hoping you're all hearing what I'm hearing. No more whispering behind your back, huh? It's fantastic. Great. It's so totally... you do hear what we hear. Yes. And it's like a whole new world for me this Christmas because I can hear the little bells and hear all kinds of things. Now, speaking of humming, which I was, I happened to note, I don't know why this came up on the Google machine, but it did. George Carlin apparently always harmonized with his dial tone. Now, millennial friends out there, the dial tone was something in the olden days when you picked up the phone, you could hear a tone. 
Well, I so related and to this. And which made you realize, then you knew that you were able to connect. Yes, you yes. Could, it was like a buzz. But I, oh, I'm so thrilled somebody else in life did this. I don't know if you knew this about me. I always wanted to harmonize, and I always did harmonize with the dial tone. I would pick it up, and before I would dial, I would invariably harmonize with the dial tone. Like a third higher, a third lower? Yes, it was a beautiful harmony. If I dare say so myself. I so I was just curious if you've done that. Never even thought about it. Well, Whatever. it's George Carlin and I. So I'm. That I'm, is cool. I'm just very glad that a celebrity did the exact it's same very thing. Very cool. Thank you for sharing I, that. I just these yeah. were just different yeah. thoughts that come into my mind. What else is going what? into your mind? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're never sure. All right, I wrote down a note. And I, I can't remember really why I wrote it, but I wrote, Jean is now taller. Oh, yes. I, y yes, yes. And I might, uh, let's save that. I will write that down because that'll be perfect for our next oh, segment. God. But you're right. Good. I I'm was like, like, I click my pen. Jean is taller. Go on. Why is Jean taller? She kind of looks the same to me, but that's very exciting that you're now Thank taller. you for reminding me, and we will get to that. All right. I hope the listeners can... Hold it's, on. Yes. Yes. We please, will get to it. Please hold on. All right. Another thing I wrote down was sheets, bed sheets. All right. I have noticed I've had a few discussions with people lately. Do you, for the month of December, change your bedding to holiday sheets? What say ye? Weigh in. Oh, thank you. I would say when flannel sheets were a big deal, I probably did that then because most flannel sheets had some kind of, whether it was bears or log cabins or pine trees. But yes. no, other than that, no. All right. I saw somebody's home. I will not mention who this person was. And their bedroom just had fabulous, like, Gorgeous green comforter, velvet, yeah. and the red. And, I mean, it was beautiful. So I was just curious, is this the thing people do? I uh, suppose it's a nice thing. It, it could be, yes. So anyway, that is pretty much my week. And there you go. How Thank you. you. Well, um, before we finish up with your week, are you having, or did you have, mine's still kind of ongoing. I got really mixed up with the days over Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah, really mixed up. Like I would say to my OH, oh, we got to remember to watch the Ohio State-Michigan game. And he would say, today is Friday. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, so. Well, you were messed up a little bit with your dentist appointment this Right, week. and I finally figured out what day that was. And then they changed the time on me, so I'm just hanging on by a thread. <laughs> by a thread. The and worst. Yes, I have actually struggled a little bit. I thought I had a class today I had to rush back for, but it's tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, dear. Maybe it's our... Well, I'm going to get into that, too. Um, All right. But the only thing I was going to say about my week is thank you. I had a wonderful time at your house. We got together for the, the Friday celebration, which yes. was fabulous. Everybody was there. All your kids had made it in. Grandkids. It was terrific oh uh, and there again i felt like am i getting a little old because twice this happened while i was with your family yeah. chatting twice I'll, I'll two times honest. not once two times i would start to tell them what i thought was going to be an amusing story yes as we do yes and they each they would look at me with big eyes and say oh right you talked about that on the podcast Oh, dear. So I'm, now, I'm glad they're listening. It's yes, not their fault. I'm glad yes. they're listening. But I forget that people already know our lives. That has yes. happened to me several times, too. One of Renee's friends, God love her, she'll say, oh, yeah, I know that because I... So now we're like being old and repeating ourselves even... Though even don't. more than we've been yeah. repeating Sorry, ourselves. Sorry, listeners, but... Which, here's a perfect segue, because I was going to talk a little bit now about staying in the present. Oh, so one way to stay in the present is, right, not to get all, then you don't get as goofed to up. keep repeating your yeah. past, perhaps. <laughs> yes. So I was going to talk because as we, we're starting the holiday season, or many of us are actually into the holiday season. Yes, we're in it. Which, at the best of years, probably can bring stress. 
and anxiety and lots to do and lots of lists and lots of things you feel like you have to do and expectations. And this year, I'm wondering, on the one hand, we're finally a little freer, but does that even make us have more expectations? Because we want to, since we didn't really have Christmas last year, we want to yes. have Christmas. We want it perfect this, this year. year. So I thought, oh, we have to just, everybody take a minute, please, to think, no. It's We're going to okay. just enjoy the present. I yes. would love to enjoy the present. Because this is what happens, a little real life story here, oh, from a, one of our favorite listeners. She and her OH were meeting her sister okay. and, and her OH for Thanksgiving at a beach. Cause Fun. I know. And the sister was in charge of bringing the turkey. Okay. Great. So they're nice. getting ready to have their meal. They're unloading the car. I'm sure feeling festive and happy. Yes. There is no turkey in the car. What happened to it? It had been forgotten. <laughs> it was not packed. That makes me feel I know. so much better. I know. And, and right. So you can't... Uh, Luckily, she had packed a ham loaf, so they had that. Well, Which I think works. I would almost like the ham loaf. Yeah, I mean, I overcooked right. mine, so I forgot to put holes in the bag. It almost blew up, but whatever. Yeah, so Everybody, the point being, don't stress. Right, because nobody likes turkey anyway. Pretty much not, so just don't, don't, don't stress. Find out, uh, you can look online and get many ways on how not to stress, how to stay in the present. Like, I have found that yoga and meditation really truly does help me which is why i think i'm getting taller remember oh, you said yes yes because yes. i just had that no genius see taller put, so see how i put that on you're pretty good at the sideways huh? yeah together so i have been doing yoga just about every day um you really meditating do it every day pretty much every day wow. Well, I like those Apple Fitness apps, and they have different lengths, so you can do like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 10 minutes. It's very fun. So I've been doing the yoga, and when I and I'm getting, I feel like one of my meditations. So I'm getting excited, so I'm skipping around. But one of the meditations was saying, you know, be like a mountain, like you're solid, you're invincible. Well, I am a mountain now. I feel like I am. A mountain. I am a mountain. And when I do yoga and do the warrior positions, right now I'm sticking my arms yeah, she's, out. She's somewhat terrifying me. These arms are flailing. But... Right. They're not flailing. Well, they're steady. They're out. <laughs> all right. So when I went to the doctor for my checkup after doing all these warrior one and warrior two, and I was an inch taller than last year. You seriously were? Yes. And I have been she... going down in height. Now you're going back up? Because I think it's helped my, my back and my shoulders, and I'm more erect. Wow. Yeah. So I'm taller. I'm in the present. I'm taller. I'm feeling good. Good for you. Now I want to do yoga because I am in those shrinking years. Yeah, I just feel great about it. Um, one, speaking of articles that you can look at for advice, one was called the sneaky signs of high level anxiety so sure watch how out sneaky they are watch there. out for that um let's see i do feel like a mom closing my rings are you are you into yeah. closing your rings on your apple no, watch no not at all you've asked me this before and i'm just not at all i ignore my rings i'm sorry apple you don't do and you don't think your kids do that do they have apple watches you Some of them do, but I've never discussed them. Okay, rings. sorry. Right. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I look at my rings at night. I like to close my steps ring. Yeah. That, that's, because... that's a thrill, but yeah, I'm not a big ring person. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. And my monthly goal, because I give you a monthly goal, is to close my rings every day. So that's a great Ooh. goal. Oh, I'm going to do that's, it. That's a lot I'm of mall do walking. It. So stay present. You know, there's that old saying about... That's why they call today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. But you do have to stay yeah, no present. There is no need to have your brain wander back to things that happened years ago. That That's for sure. Right. Just look at today, everybody. Enjoy. Don't worry about what Christmas is going to be like. Worry about like, yeah. worry a little. About yeah. I have a slight grimace on my face because I still have a lot of gifts to get. But just don't right. want Christmas to be so nice. And I realize it really, truly is the joy. It's the birth of our Savior. That's what we're celebrating. It is. Right. 
Except light of the world. I still feel like I have to have a non-dry food, turkey meat, something. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I will so, try to stay um, in the Speaking of present, yes. I, I so uh, um, somebody wrote in. I was reading it somewhere online. You know that they now give as many people may do their adult children you give them money for christmas that's fine that's yeah, fine yeah. Right. but one right. reason yeah one reason they were doing it was because when their when their parents passed they you know were going through their things and found like so many birthday uh, birthday and christmas presents just had not been used They'd Aww. probably been unwrapped, but they were just there. In the... So gifts they gave their mom and dad yeah. were never used. And they felt like, you know, we put effort into getting that for them, and they're not using it. And so they were like, no, we're going to just give money. But I thought, no, that's not the way to be. You were happy giving the gift. And they were probably happy receiving it. But sometimes, for now, many reasons, you it was either too special to use or you were waiting for a good time. or I don't know. I, I must say... You my, pretty... my family is very good at getting good gifts for me. They, oh, yeah. I, I really oh. use everything. So keep, I love keep everything. it up, everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no pressure. Right, no pressure, no stress. Stay in the present. That's right, but, but I truly do So like that's those my little, you know, gifts. close your ring, stay happy, be a mountain. Be a mountain. This is going to be a wonderful Christmas. Maybe Mount Everest. Oh, I love that. And our dad's name was Everett, so that will... Mount Everest. Mount Everett. There I go. go. Let's, since we're mentioning Christmas, let's just go full Christmas right now. Oh, it's time to shift into full Christmas. Full Christmas right? joy. Jingle bells, jingle bells. How yes. about our Christmas favorites? Oh, that's, that's always, always fun. fun. All right, so I'll I'll say a category, and okay. then you can tell me yours. Okay. All right, and then I guess I'll... I'm going to have to think, huh? Yes, get okay. ready. Take a sip of coffee Christmas if you need it. Christmas bonnet is on. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Go ahead. All right. You know, what is your favorite? Now, we're going to have two categories of music. Oh, favorite gosh. carol and favorite popular song. So we're going to start with your favorite Christmas carol. Favorite Christmas carol. Um, Heart the herald angels sing glory to. Oh, that's. Heart yes. the herald. Yes. Yes. Is that the one that has ah, 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 ah. No. <laughs> That's okay. angels we have. Oh, angels we have heard on. Okay, I like that. Right. Go on. You like that one too? Yes, you can have two. I kind of have two. One, I, I've always loved Away in a Manger, especially since having children, yeah, right? I know. Right? Little Brand Lord Jesus good. laying down his sweet head. That really it's a sweet. gives you the Christmas yeah. feels. So I like that one, but... Kind of like you with Hark the Herald. I like, um, Oh, come all ye faithful. That's oh, a, that is a good one. That's a great one to sing at church. And the organ sounds great. Is Oh, come all ye faithful the one that the third <laughs> verse has that upper thing? I think they do that a lot. Yes, yes, yeah, yes okay. right. Sorry, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm needing reminders on my Christmas So carols. those are, right, so... Okay. okay. Now, how about your favorite popular? And then I'll let you do a favorite. Oh, well, favorite now, popular song. Now that I'm a grandma, I can make just at the grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> it's a goodie. It is. A, sorry, it's a goodie. Right. But non-carol popular, I really like Amy Grant's Breath of Heaven. Oh, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Oh. Gorgeous. So a little bit of a opposite side of the yeah. wall there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna just go for the silly one. You went with grandma. Yes. I'm gonna go with silly. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. No, oh, that's a cute, fun one. Yeah, that's I like that fun. one. All right, I want. A hip I don't. I don't have to sing all of them. Do you I? could. I could. All right, what's your? Well, give me a favorite. All right, what is your favorite Christmas cookie? Mmm. Mm. I will just say. A frosted cutout cookie. Oh, that's mine too. Oh, yeah. But I have a specific one. Uh huh. Shout out to my daughter Renee. Her, she uses a sour cream cutout, but they're exquisitely decorated. Oh, she like, is. Like she so spends talented. 20 minutes on each one, but they're so good. So, yes. All right. She's fantastic at that. Yes. She is. All right. You have another favorite? I do. What is your favorite Christmas movie? 
And there's well, so lots of many. good ones. Lots of good ones. But I am going to say the classic A Christmas Story. Oh. Yeah. Ralphie. Ralphie. And, and the, the BB gun. And the BB gun, Randy. He sticks out his tongue. And yes. Hey, you can stay at the house. Yeah, it's actually a real house. It's a real house in Cleveland. In Cleveland with a real leg lamp. Yes, the whole thing is right there. And they also have the Bumpus house, who was the neighbors. Oh, the, were those the bad kids? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and you can stay in their house. It's not cheap. No. I think it's like 400, 300 bucks a night. Oh, yeah. It could be kind of fun. But it could be a lot of fun. Like, we could stay in the Bumpus house. You guys could stay in the Christmas house. <laughs> that would be really fun. We and have... then we could all meet around the frozen pole. And... <laughs> hey, great. I yeah. Shoot ourselves with BB guns. All right. Do you have a favorite memory? I know favorite you said my favorite movie. Oh. And mine has meaning. Oh, gosh. Ask me my favorite movie. Oh. <laughs> Laura, Laura, yes. what is your favorite Christmas It is movie? White Christmas. Okay. And for all you millennials, you've probably never seen it, but it's got... I forget the names of all the actors. It's got like Danny Kaye and Bing Crosby, Rosemary Clooney. Clooney yes. Now, the best part about this is they sing the two girls sisters. They do sing sisters. 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 Yeah. There never will be such something <laughs> sisters. But oh, that, that was a makes good one. me think of you. In fact, our little neighbor girls, they're adults now, don't live at home anymore. They put up an Instagram last week where they're doing something together and they have that music. Sisters. It's yes. It's wonderful. That's a special song. It oh, that was special. a good one to remember. Here we are. Glad you asked me. All right. <laughs> okay. Are we still having fun with this or not? <laughs> we are. We're still having fun. All we right. Are. Favorite um, like memory. Do you have a favorite memory? None. None whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll ask you. I mean, I have a lot, but I don't know that I can pull. You You tell me yours and then I'll think. All righty. Um, I really ha always enjoyed going out to look at Christmas lights. We would do it on December 23rd. So it was Christmas Eve Eve. Oh, and yes. It was as the boys were getting excited about Christmas, it was something fun to do to drive out Aww. and look at the light displays and stop for hot chocolate, something like that. That's a good I one. love that. All right. I guess I could think of some. So I always love to go to our Christmas Eve service at our church where you pass the light. Everyone has the candle. Oh, yes. And you each light. That always thrills me. It's a so slight fun. fear of fires, of course. <laughs> It's probably how this all started. That's a little bit of post-traumatic stress syndrome. But, yes, I, I just think that's lovely. And when the kids were little, I like going to the live nativities. Oh, I love yeah. the live nativities. Wasn't that fun? Do they still have those? I don't know. There was a really nice one up around where you live. We yes. drove around the parking yes, lot. It was a North Ham Hampton church up oh, there. Oh, yes. And you would drive through the parking lot. You could see all those dear people sitting out in the cold, but my kids loved it. Yes. Oh, I loved it too. Yeah. Okay. That's a great memory. Thank you. All right. The gift you wanted but never got. I think, listeners, I said this a year ago. It still haunts me. I'll go first. I, always, I guess you will. <laughs> <laughs> I always... Wanted and I'm oh, and you never got it probably for 58 years now. 58 years, and you've been wishing, wishing. And well, someone like my tongs, a listener did give me my yes. tongs. Now, don't get this. No, okay. I don't want it today. This was once I became 14, it probably has been over. I always wanted that Barbie doll head that you could style the hair. <laughs> I love I you. I don't want it today. All right, we got to go to the eBay, don't we? Yeah, Mom and Dad just didn't think I needed that. So, right. Yeah. And I don't need it today. Thank you, listeners. I know you're all That's out so there. That's so cute. Oh, we will have to go on eBay. The big Barbie doll head that you could style. Yes. Did it come with, like, different little... Yes, you know, devices, curlers, this, oh, that. That was too bad because you probably believed in Santa Claus and you didn't realize yeah. you needed to talk about it more. Yeah, no, Santa for some reason. Didn't... Didn't oh, come through. Ever. That's so sweet. Sorry. Moving yeah. on. I'm living in the present, Jean. That's right. I forget. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. Um, I. Um, I think you have some other things on your list. I have one or two more, and then Good. I'll wrap this list up. 
Oh, what? rap. Rap. <laughs> we are just, we are that good. Every all right. Put, all a, right. put a bow on it, a bum bum. Yes. Very good. All right. What, what was your best, do you have a memory of a good decoration oh. when you were young or now or whatever? Okay. You know what popped in my mind when you said this? Um, first of all, I always love sitting, setting up the nativity scene. Yes. So it started with me the nativity. But what it reminded me of, do you remember when mom, I think it was her church cir circle, they one year made wreaths out of turkey feathers? Yes. That's on my list. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I haven't thought about that in years. That is on my list. Really? The wreath with the feather. See? Feather wreath. Right. I wrote it down. It was beautiful. It was special. I loved it. And yes, of course, the nativity. I have a beautiful white ceramic nativity set, and I always love bringing baby Jesus out on Christmas Day. Oh, yes. Because that's it, guys. It's... Of course, there's that pressure of keeping track of him. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you don't want the kids going, baby Jesus was born. And then you're like, oh, where did I put where, him? Where I know I put him, but it's this place. Yes. Well, Merry Christmas to you, my dear, and Merry Christmas to Pat. Yes, Merry Christmas, Pat. Thank you, Pat. It's been another wonderful year, and we'll be um, potting again in January. You betcha. Early January, look for us. We're taking a couple weeks off so we can... Get taller. I'm going to go with my yoga. <laughs> right. Stay present. Stay have, present. Do have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Yes. Beautiful holiday season. Merry Christmas to all. We love you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Ho, ho, ho. And toodaloo. Toodle. Be sure to come back to Beautiful Ohio and the OK Boomer podcast to listen to previous episodes or to drop us a line. Visit OKBoomerPod.com okay,